You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB here, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another NASCAR Authentics Wave 1 Diecast review. And today we'll be reviewing the iconic STP car, which is driven by Richard Petty, but now driven by Bubba Wallace in this STP Dawn's the Throwback Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 for another iconic team in NASCAR, Richard Petty Motorsports. Even though I feel like 2018 is going to, I mean, well, 2019 is probably going to be a sufferable year for them since they are lacking a lot of sponsorship and funding. But really cool they were able to get this car. He didn't ran this car at the race, but I'll tell you guys more information about that as we were looking at the back. As this is kind of mostly a throwback wave, guys. I mean, majority of these cars that we got right here are throwback exclusives. So for the for the uh, 164 so yeah only way you can get these cars guys if you love your throwbacks so another reason why you gotta love nascar authentics but anyways guys let's go ahead and start the unboxing and the diecast review of this bubba wallace throwback scheme Alrighty guys, we got the diecast out of this box, and before we get things started on this diecast review, let's go and take a look at the little accessory that comes with this, and it is the plastic hood. I almost want to say magnet, but man, I, I mean, we've already been like, what, three or four years now in the line already seen uh, NASCAR Authentics line, never going to get magnetic hoods. <laughs> I mean, that, that'll be a dream. I mean, Lionel for, for, uh, has already fulfilled our wishes with the 164 trucks, maybe we can finally get magnetic hoods. Ooh. That'd be quite the mystery to solve. But uh, back to this, uh, I almost said car, but this is, you know, part of the car. It's a hood. See? But nah, just, just screwing with you guys. I mean, heck, that was probably some horrible, horrible onboard uh, camera work right there. I mean, heck, I don't work for Fox or NBC. <laughs> God. But um, yeah, nice looking car that we got right here. Really nice. We got the NASCAR Authentics logo and the iconic number 43 and the uh, Richard Petty Blue. Gotta love that car. Gotta love it. But back to the actual car. Uh, man, I it, I tell you what. It's about time we actually got an all petty blue car. Well, not for the race, though. If you guys remember that he drove this car. Well, first of all, guys, this is paying a uh, throwback to Richard Petty's 1972 car. Um, that actually had all petty blue. I believe it was at the Riverside race. But I'll get some more about the information of how the Day Glow Red came on board at the Daytona 500 during that year. And um, I'll talk about it pretty soon. But back to what I said about uh, uh, how that we finally got an all petty blue car. Well, that changed. You guys remember that he drove this car during qualifying and practice. But then at the start of the race, they decided to peel off parts of the scheme. And uh, that was kind of like a reveal. So they basically just did the throwback that we had from 2015, which was... Eric Amarola's throwback, so that was a little disappointing because we've already had this throwback, but um, well, I think Lionel actually uh, offered a race version of the of this car being made. Uh, I believe that it got canceled in 164 from what I know, but I believe 124 is still available or it's getting uh, it's getting um, made. So it wouldn't surprise me if we actually get the race version uh, of this car coming into NASCAR Authentics, but this is on the Chevrolet Camaro body, not the Ford Fusion body, but... Basically, it's the exact same paint scheme, which I was disappointed because I was like, man, I really dig that pity blue. But, you know, I mean, they were kind of trying to compete with uh, the paint scheme reveals at the last minute. They were trying to mostly compete with the Austin Dillon's uh, <laughs> uh, throwback to Dale Earnhardt, which that was very secretive. So, I mean, I, I do appreciate the element of surprise that we got with some of the throwbacks for this year, including this one and the Austin Dillon throwback. So, I appreciate that. But, man, would have loved to see this car, you know race at the Southern 500. Maybe we'll try again next year, guys. But, I mean, it's an all-blue car, guys. I mean, the iconic Petty Blue. You can't go wrong with that, guys. So simple, so nice. Just, overall, guys, if you're a Richie Petty fan, I mean, this is a must-get. I mean, God. It's a shame this car got canceled in 164 scale in the Gold Series, but this is a good time to uh, get it in while you can. And heck, I well, it's funny when I got this car, a lot of people already wanted to get that wanted me to sell this car and get. It. I was like, finders keepers, I keep that now. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, I, I really, really do love this car. I mean, like I said, it's a shame that they changed it, but you know, it is what it is. But um, yeah, that that's that, guys. <laughs> but uh, if you guys have anything else to share on this car and uh, any more history lessons you guys want to know or share with uh, with the with this uh, forty three about Richard Petty and Andy uh, Granatelli, 
who was the CEO of STP. He was the guy who, you know, wanted the day glow red, but this car does not have that. But I'll also show you guys a comparison of the STP car that we got from 2018. I mean, the modern version, which, you know, still looks nice. Doesn't have that day glow red, but I mean, they decided to go for a darker red, which was kind of odd, but see, they wanted to match up with the uh, color. But, um, yeah, I believe it's also the first time we actually got uh, both STP cars produced in NASCAR Authentics. Because we usually, I mean, what, like every year, um, what, like for from 2015 and on, we've had the STP throwback released in um, every year. So, I believe this one probably has to be my favorite. I mean, I really did li like last year's, but the all petty blue is just something different. And, like I said, it's a shame that they couldn't, they didn't ran it at the Southern 500 at the last minute they decided to change it but oh well i mean i still like the surprise that they had but uh, feel free to comment below if you guys have, have any other uh, thoughts and opinions to share on this uh, stp throwback from 2018 driven by bubba wallace for richard petty motorsports uh if you guys have anything else to share with this review and anything else uh, you guys want to comment about feel free to comment below because it helps out and even like and if you're new to this channel Give that uh, button a good subscribe because what else you got to lose? Nothing really much. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys hopefully in another NASCAR Authentics Diecast Review.